Unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength, that I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language. But the word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the word. Tell your neighbor tonight something is happening. Exodus chapter 2 and verses 1. And the Bible says, And there went a man of the house of Levi. And he took himself a wife and daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived and bare a son. And when she saw him that he was a goodly child, the Bible says she hid him three months. And when she could no longer hide him, she took him an ark of bulrushes. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. She took him a what? An ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with peach. And to put the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. And his sister stood afar to weed what would be done to him. And the daughter of Pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river. And her maidens walked along by the river's side. And when she saw the ark among the flags, she sent her maid to fetch it. And when she had opened it, she saw the child, and behold, the babe wept. And she had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrew children. And then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call thee a nurse of the Hebrew woman who can may nurse the child for thee? And Pharaoh's daughter said, Go. And the maid went and called the child. And Pharaoh's daughter said unto her, Take this child away and nurse it for me. And I will give thee the wages. And the woman took the child and nursed it. And the child grew. And she brought him unto Pharaoh's daughter. He became her son. She called his name Moses. She said, Because I drew him out of water. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Somebody say amen. The Bible says she named him Moses Musa because she drew him out of the water. Praise the Lord Jesus. How many of you have known or probably have heard of that story before? Put up your hands if you have ever heard of it. How many of you are, are hearing it for the first time? For the first time you're hearing this story for the first time. It's your first time. Okay, yeah, I've seen a couple. How many of you, you don't know? You don't know that you've heard about it. Uh, praise the Lord. The mother of Moses. Mama of Musa was called Josebed. Yeah, Josebed was the wife Josebed of Moses' father. The mother of Moses, Mama wa Musa, Aaron, and, Aaron, and Miriam. Ne Miriam. You know very well that the children of Israel crossed and went into Egypt. Now, the children of Israel left in the days of Joseph. You remember the story? You remember the story? And what happens there? If you remember the story very well, uh, the children of Israel were honored. 
in Israel because of the anointing that was on Joseph. But that was temporal. Praise the Lord Jesus. The story of Joseph taught me something. That God can bless people because of one man. And yes, they are all his people. But Israel gained favor before the house of Pharaoh because of the anointing that was on Joseph. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. So, the Bible says the time comes when a certain king knew not Joseph. And what happened? The children of Israel, which were lords and dukes, they went under servitude and became servants of the Egyptians. You know the story. They were afflicted. They were beaten. They were treated badly. But the Bible says the more they were afflicted, the more they multiplied. In Exodus chapter 12. Why? Because they were dealing with another kind of people. Let me also say this before I get into my gospel. If you afflict a man of God, if you afflict a person of God, they are multiplied. If you belong to God and you're afflicted, that's the opportunity to multiply. If you're not afflicted, you can't multiply. If they don't persecute you, you can't multiply. There are people going through circumstances. And it's as though it wants to finish. But the truth it can't finish. Even if they take on those that it won't finish you. Even if they take on those that it won't finish you. Even if you speak, I know. It's only you that you want to help you today telling you that it won't finish you. Even if you speak, I know. It's only you that you want to help you today telling you that it won't finish you. Even if you speak, I know. It's only you that you want to help you today telling you that it won't finish you. Finish you. Maybe that situation won't finish you. Praise God. I told people that there is an endurance situation put in sons of men. And that endurance produces character. And that character comes with a great price before God. There are things we've gone through. And there are things that no longer shake us anymore. Because when they come back, we that the one who made us prevail against the people. I don't know where I'm talking to someone. Have you ever gone through a situation? No, God, but now you're in a tent on a quay. This is smaller than I've ever faced. No, God, you're in a tent on a quay. Why did you not come and get sing a walk? Now you're not one in guitar. No, God, so you're not a common man. You're not a good one. I've been a cuckoo for years. I'm not a fool. Oh, you're a tattie guy, a kumba. Never allowed it to stand. Oh, you are not smart to solve my problems. Never let me go smart to solve. He will make me survive again. There is a time you go through things, and you go through and prepare. And another situation comes, and you ask. There is a lady. She lost twelve children. Now she was Muganda. And she lost her brother. Never gained a kurufu. They went to the funeral. And all the people were crying. The lady had no tear on her face. So the people with her on the funeral, she would look at the sister. Look at the sister. Same woman. They were prepared by the same woman. All the sisters were crying. Look at her. She's not even crying one bit. I think she bewitched her. Are you hearing me? Is she glad about the bad news of the death of her sister? Is she just not concerned? They even judged her. One of them approached her. Your sister died. But you're not crying. You said you were crying. You said you were crying. 
my my I cried and I closed that There are people who go through circumstances. There are people who are still there. But there is a place where you read and you see the church. I will not cry. Because you cried and you cried. Because you cried and you cried. There is somebody who cried. And you cried and you 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 cried. And you cried no matter how the situation comes, 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 no matter how the what are you going to say, Gamba? Is anybody getting what I'm talking about? So, for what we're going to do, there's no new meaning. I'm going to have to tell you what I'm talking about. There are stories which I will tell, and our kids won't connect. Now, for my daughter, I'm telling you what I'm talking about. Even as our fathers tell things we don't connect. It was again, I'm going to come here. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go to school. Kira mita abiri. We used to go Yandi kubidua basi gumukubo. He would have been beaten by. Nomba katayi mbwa ngakenda. Ne na wona wya kola. He also prepared against that. Yeah, he tau. He went through that. Gamba kuna impisa moving. Tell your neighbor I've gone through. Teri mbere nkanga. There is no situation that can scare. Sukiro mla lomuga enti impisa moving. We body dani entebe yoka jigambe. Jiga entebe kwa impisa moving. Se wali chinti sata. Nothing can shake me now. Oh. I want you to hear that circumstance. Mukama eva zibu. Praise God. Ba kubuli dantu inobulwa diwe na nozi di karonga. They told you you have a certain sickness and you almost faint. Mei na waguma no itau. But you became strong and you went through that. Na chera wachigumira. You also. Ne webuza. You also. Na guma anti. How did I be strong? The Bible says we are comforted. Bible says we are with a very comfort with which He comforted Christ. Kama eva zibu. Kama eva zibu. So the children of Israel are afflicted. Abana ba iseri ba nigeni zidua. Are you hearing me? Walu apuli na. And in affliction, ena mu kudi kudi zibu oko. Still, ena da. They are multiplied. Give me the message of that. The message Bible of that. The heart of the Egyptians worked them. The more children the Israelites had. Children everywhere. The Egyptians couldn't stand Israelites. So the time existed. When the Israelite children became so strong, even while they were still slaves, that's what makes you richer than your boss. If you've understood saying me, yet you give you that job. So Pharaoh said, "Let's kill millspecies." Ah, ah, ah! Let's kill millspecies. 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 The first children of the boys that are born in that time. And many were killed. Many were killed. 
and some you remember the, the you shall kill it but if it be a daughter then you shall leave because he's clever he knows if it's a daughter she'll marry an Egyptian and immediately the child will be Egyptian and the next verse says but the midwives feared God and did not as the king of Egypt commanded. They saved the children. And then the next verse says, And the king of Egypt called the midwives and said, Why have you done this thing and have saved the men, children alive? And the next verse says, And the midwife said to her, Because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, for they are lively and deliver their midwives before the midwives come and in unto them. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a lie. It was not true that the Israelite women gave birth quicker than the Egyptians. The Bible says they wanted to save them. So they didn't do as they and the king asked why don't you kill this king? So the midwife said, this is what we're praying for. And now for us when we are praying, we pray for them to give birth like they give to women. Well, laugh at yourself. A woman doesn't have to produce like a Hebrew woman. In fact, the New Testament says, she shall be saved through childbirth. Because she's a child of God. What makes you produce well is because you're a child of God. Okay. If you are born again, you will produce well. You will be born again, you will produce well. You will be born again, you will produce well. I'm a new creature, I have to tell you what I'm doing. I don't have the curse of Eve. I don't have the curse of Eve. You will be born again, you will be born again. You will be born again, you will be born again. Dying even in labor. Right now you go to Israel. You'll find Israelite women who are dying. And some will even take longer to give birth. Who saw the sunset tree? Now I came to talk about a woman called Jezebel. Because very few things are spoken of. Praise the Lord Jesus. But her impact is great. Women say amen. Say amen again. Now, Joshebeth, the Bible says, as we go back in Exodus 2, she saw that this was a godly child and hid him. Praise the Lord Jesus. And did what? Hid him. Now when we go to Hebrews, the Bible says by faith, the parents of Moses, you see, when we go to Hebrews, Hebrews doesn't say the mother. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. So it says by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hit three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's command. But if you go back to Exodus, it was not a father and mother affair. It was a woman's affair. But the man took the glory. Yeah, the man took the glory. The kid is stupid there for the mother. Why is it nice? Okay. The the you get it? I don't mother, know. The foolishness is for the mother. Go back to Exodus. Exodus says the woman conceived and bare son. And when she saw him, that he was a godly child, she hid him three months. In Hebrews, they tell us the parents in Exodus she so probably the part the man contributes is he allowed her to keep what she took and if it's counted for him as him which saw the childhood that he never saw that boy good. The woman did see him good. Are we together? 
The world has spoiled women. Don't well qualified. They have deceived you out of your position. Because the devil knows what you can be if you stand in your position. That is why today we are dealing with a big issue about women submitting. To their husband. And most especially these dot coms who speak English. English got into marriage. English has destroyed marriage. As in, who, who do you think? You think I'm not a human being? You understand? As in, you're talking to me like. You understand? <laughs> The English is too much. Yes, and I was talking to certain people. And I told them that for our mothers, even now they are still there. What kept them in their marriages is not English. English doesn't cook. It's the wisdom of God. I didn't slap your wife because you were a man. You understand what I'm saying? No. Mm. But there is more to it that I want to share. Praise the Lord somebody. Praise the Lord somebody. Quality, 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 quality. Nowadays have omwenkanonkano, omwenkanonkano, omwenkanonkano. Let me tell you something that is going to help all women. Mukama yabawa six. God gave you this. Don't that we don't have it. But there is one you have. Which is different from the other. It doesn't mean that because you have yours, we don't have ours. Do you get me? Let me differentiate the two things. A woman, the Bible says in Proverbs 31. Her candle does not burn out in the night. What does that mean? If you remember the story of Joseph, when he had a dream, the second dream, he saw the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars bowing before him. And the eleven stars represented his brother. He dreams a dream. Follow me. And he dreams the sun. He dreams the moon and the eleven stars round about him and they are worshipping him. You remember that? And his father asked him, are you crazy? Do you, are you saying that me, your mother and your brothers are going to worship you, to bow down to you? What did the son represent? The father. What did the moon represent? The mother. What did the stars represent? Children. Every child is a star to their parents. Every woman is a moon to her husband. Every man is a sun to his wife. You understand what I'm saying? So, in Proverbs 31, he says, her candle goes not out by night. Because what rules in the night? The moon. You see what I'm saying? Now, that is physical for seasons and times. Genesis 1.14. But it's also equal to the understanding of Genesis chapter 1, I think, verses 4. Let there be light. And the, and the Lord divided, <laughs> he says, the light from the darkness and God called the light day, and darkness he called night, and the evening and morning, and that was the first day. In 14, he again 
Let there be light in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs, for seasons, for days, for years and let them be for light in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so. There is a difference between the light of Genesis 1 and 4 and the light of Genesis 1 and 14. Now it is equal that if the man is the son the woman is the moon, and the stars in the physical sense, there is a spiritual sense to it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Some things in the scriptures take feminine clauses and some take masculine clauses. If you're a man of the spirit, you can study it. When he's referring to righteousness, he calls righteousness the son of righteousness. When he's talking about wisdom, he refers to wisdom as a feminine. Get a hold of her. For she is. Wisdom is like a woman. When you're reading the scriptures, sometimes it's important to know which precedes the other because it helps you understand the order of the spirit. Well, one to get Do you get me somebody? The, 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 the exalt her. No, begin from up. But, yeah, wisdom is the principal thing. Um, get wisdom. With all that get, get understanding. And it says, exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou doest embrace her. Every uh, entity in the scriptures that is described in the feminine line relate with it as you will relate with a woman. Everything that presents itself as a man relate with it as you will relate with a man. You'll not go deeper. And all things said, Amen. So, this is a candle. <laughs> and the Bible says, her candle goeth not out in the night. It's not talking about the physical light. It's talking about the spiritual light. There's something about you that rules in the night. And there's something about your man that rules in the day. And sometimes it's wrong to apply the principles of night in two days. Like it is wrong to apply the principles of day in two nights. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'll give you an example. There are things that are done during day. People don't dig in the night. People don't plant in the night. People don't harvest in the night. You understand what I'm saying? There are things that are for the man. You understand what I'm saying? The sun gives something. Because there is a light up here, it has consequences. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Likewise, in the night, there are also things that are done in the night. For example, at night men sleep. And the Bible says, while men slept, the thief crept in and saw tears. The thief comes and saw stairs in the night. And the Lord says, in your marriage, your the candle that doesn't burn out and the Bible calls him the enemy. The thief, he sowed tears among the women and went his way. The night is a place of weeping. You understand what I'm saying? And the joy cometh in the morning. The man must know his part, even in the marriage. Let me say something. You don't need to believe me. 
I've said it before. But I'm going to say it here again. You don't need to believe me. 90% of the reasons why marriage fails is women. 90% of why marriages are failing is women. Now, this man is cheating on me. Am I the one responsible? This man is beating me. Am I the one responsible? This man drinks alcohol. Am I the one responsible? Listen. There is a responsibility called helper suitable. I am your vision, but I'm not your helper. When God made you help, He meant you can help. Now you can cast away your responsibility. Funny. You're also going to be funny. And you Do you know God sometimes sounds unfair? He told the woman, submit yourself to your husband. Give me that scripture. Give me the amplified. The Bible says, wife, be subject, be submissive, and adapt yourself. Now listen to the dictionary definition of adapt. Make suitable to requirements or conditions. Or modify fittingly. <laughs> Mama, did you get it? Make suitable to requirements or conditions. Adjust. Adjust. Modify fittingly. I adjust to his condition. Wait, I can I can't have the constant man. Why did you get married to him? Modify yourself. Wait, Somebody Why did you get married to him? If you are not ready, there are people who are not going to This one can't handle, keep them the way Because she can't handle a man. She can't handle a man. Men can annoy. Married women. Yes. Yes. Ah, no. No. Why did I get married to that? Why did I get married to roses, in flowers, in every morning. No. Because you adapted. Wait, 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 God hasn't called me to fit in with you. He hasn't called me to fit in with you. He has called me to love you. Even as he has loved the church. That's even harder. That's right. That's even harder. That's even harder. To love you the way he loves the church. Kufirira. Dying for you. If you grieve her, your prayers will not be heard. In Peter. In Peter. In Peter. Those ones there. She can to and, uh, nothing well, I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> office. <laughs> God. Told me, I'm Never give your wife. I'm not to be a good one. Because I want 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 to be a good one. That your prayers be not hindered. Why did he tell you to adapt? Why did he not tell the man to adapt? You have the grace. You understand? Am I making some sense? Am I making some sense? No, let me give you an example. Hmm? Hmm. A woman, Omukazi, he has a rumor. Now, I will I'm giving you an example. Hmm? Hmm. Your husband Omami wo. is in a bar with a certain woman. Are you hearing? Hmm. That's an enemy. Oyomulabe. Sowing tears. Are you getting where I'm coming from? What do I think of that, 
That is an enemy. Oh, you know so impaired. Oh, Do you understand what I'm saying? What do you think about as a woman, you must know how to keep your home. Keeping your home is not sweeping and cleaning. No, it is controlling the spiritual atmosphere in your house. You have to get to a level where no, the or devil or doesn't or mess with your house. Right, only help us suitable. Why are you a help us suitable? You understand what I'm saying? What do and then you hear that rumor. Instead of dealing with the enemy, you uncover the man. No, you're going to do something. My husband is cheating on me. My husband is cheating on me. Now, if he stops with these ones, forget what you say. If he stops, these ones forget. In their head, it is going to stay a present continuous So malaria. But the news is still happening. When they eat, the, the, the husband of that wife usually cheats. But you finish everything and close the chapter. You can't cover your husband. The enemy comes in. Do you know why the Bible says she shall do him good all the days of his life? That nagging fellow. And he says, and she shall do him good. He says, she shall do him good all the days. All the days. Please don't get mad. Wait. Me, I'm called number one. And number one, and I'm going to be the number one. 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 And Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. The Bible says she will do him good and not evil. All all the days days of her life. So but the is not is not with you. you. No, he, 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 the grace is given to you. Maybe you are not going to you. Maybe you are not going to be with you. Maybe you are not going to You understand? Maybe you are not going to be with you. Praise God. Tell every woman in this house it's your responsibility to cover your man. That's a burning candle. That's a burning what? That's a burning what? Candle. <laughs> Scientifically, those of you who know science, where does the moon get its light? Answer me. Where does the moon get its light? So how can the moon cast a shadow on the sun and it remains the moon? Did you get me? Listen. If you have an issue with your husband and you take it to another person, you, you, you are everything your husband, you have said he is. Because he is your light. Listen, Saba. Pray. You get an eye. Speak to him. If he refuses, take him to the pastor. That's what the scriptures teach. If you are not going to pray. You get an eye. Speak to him. We will go to the pastor. We will go to the pastor. We will go to the pastor. We will go to the But you have a problem in the family. And you take it to the uncles, to the cousins, all your neighbors. No, the underwear of your husband. I think I know you. You're a child. You're foolish. Help us, shoot him. Oh, 
Omukazi omuya jananga. One woman Baba can't get her. My husband doesn't date. Lemugani omulala guwa chigani. And I asked her how many people have you told that? Nagamba ko simanya gundi. I only know one so and I'm like you stupid. Moba siru gwato limu so foolish. How do you Guy tanaba. A guy doesn't pay. Bawa solo tanaba gwenu naba. How can your husband not pay than you pay? <laughs> no. So Matthias, you came out of him. Can a non bather produce a bather? Can you atan atali munabi ataza alomunabi? So it's a second amukazo wa magezi. That's why I'm saying that. Bo yogera na ina agana. Ogende wo musumba. Ate wo mugende wo musomo mugamba. Musumba tata. Tuyambe te tunaba. Pass we don't pay. Te tukola ti. We don't. Te tunaba. Tunaba ko ti tun. We pay half way. Ati wafu komu ye yavamu nju ya titawe nenyina na kwa gata ko left to you Te ye gata kugwe bitikli to you ate te biri fair and it's not fair mbu he shall be joined and to his wife e li muchala we kumuchala we tutegeza ya ya kwetaga it means it seems that needed you Father Betaga, it's we who need you. To to barimba, never be deceived. No, by the way, it's true. It's Chairman's mother. Father Betaga, it's we who need you. To 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 barimba, never be deceived. Era ne gai wala mukola wamo. When they made the gai, mukama yala banga tichi nyumi. God realized it wasn't good. Naga it is not good. Naga matichi rungi. That a person must should be alone. Ema mawe ya mereye ka. I'm going to make him a helper. Yesu kere. Ena mukoli no move. Adapt him. Someone who can find me with an attitude and get it out. Nezi juka nenga nti najja no busunga na mukazi ya nzi ya mwedalu. Then you know mtu gwe manyi mukazi we ya mzi ya mwedalu. Ataka tamu kuba ambi. No. No. Mukazi oli alia asaba my friend. The woman would pray. Gali ya kore ya mtu naga lima ni natuke chisera. Mukazi ya asaba nyo nenga maraika inzo kubeli na mbo munga. Mbiye sasi na aposo. Nenga that's a praying woman. Nenga mbo ye mchalo. Nenga mfoto kusabo uyo mba. Praise the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. That is why I tell people, if, as a man, you're not ready to carry a vision for your house. Wait to marry. If as a woman, you're not ready to submit. Take your time. 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 And if it's a tough man, we don't die at. We're going to die at 120 years, six days, okay? Zala bo bo na kungaga, no zala yoku china na no zala. Six days at eight. Ngama amao sala, mugena mungulu. So kuduli la. Bible we yoke la. That's what the Bible says. With God, all things are possible. Praise the Lord, somebody. We have I'm speaking in all humility and love, but I'm speaking God. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. As you say, Pastor, we don't pay. The Pastor knows what to do. Pastor. To tambula, tambula. We overwork. Tambula nyewe. We walk out. Yambe. Help us. Elanjo gere yedda, yaba saji yaba gando jimanyi wa yavera. The whole talk of the Vagana men is. Na yaba chala yedda. And the ladies, the old ladies of old. Ochitegele. Nga umuami wabo murade. Mwetu kila mamama yedda. Atu mwete yana yetu liba luade. Luade, luade. Mwetu kila yaba chala yedda. You remember those ladies. Yaba chile. Eno si sik. Eno si mwani. Eno si. You're one woman. You're one. Eno si talu wala gwenoba mulamu. Eno si is not sick. Era separation ni mbufumbo weta andikira. Wawu kana kutangu kutangu. Wata andiko kwe introducing a watari eno. Introducing yourself without. Your husband. Your husband. 
The moon receives light from the sun. You can only shine as bright as I shine. The day you kill my darkness, woman, you're placed in a certain place. Because you understood darkness more than I did. That is why he gave you that candle. To do me good all the days of your life. I'm your Lord. Submit to your husband as unto the Lord. Walu atante gera walu ayomba no kuyomba naye walu ne yava mbufumbo naye otunne mabegano gana imani nakola bintu bingi weperezo bude butaliyo Mukama yeba Gwata ina kuwasa sogera nawe linde chicho chija masa nawe njiri yeje iyo nawe nakutegele ntu walu abata ina kufumbira nga tewaiti wayo nga mukama goya kuwe chiso kubanga boli nawe iye jao ni kumani kumbi kumarili za mukama yeba Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. So, there are things a woman will see. And a man might not see. And likewise, there are things a man might. And a woman might not see. And that's how the covering is. Even men, there's no way we're supposed to cover our wives. Ours is protection. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. But you have to do your part. Na yote kukole chitungucho. Walo mchala wana. Suma nyuru hachi mkama ngami njogire na. There is a woman. I don't know why God has forced me to take you. Na hebuli chitwe chiri mnyumba yo chifurumiza. But you put everything in your house out there. Buli chitwe chiri mnyumba yo chifurumiza. You put everything in your house out there. Stop it. Likira awo. Stop. Likira awo. Speak to him if he fails, take him to the pastor. If he refuses the pastor, go on your knees and speak to the higher pastor. God will hear you. But stop exposing your husband's weakness. You don't love him if you do that. Praise the Lord. That's done. Joshebed. Joshebed. She sees something in Moses. I let you see a lot about Musa. And then she says, I'm not going to let this kid die. When she saw what was in Moses, she chose. She told to hear the king but to save the boy. Are you hearing me? Because she saw something in Moses bigger than the threat of the king. Am I communicating something? And so this is what happens. She hid him. The Hebrew word there for hiding is treasure. She treasured him for three months. And when she could not hide him anymore, the Bible says she makes a little ark. You understand? Mm. And then she dabs it with slime and with pink. And then she puts the child therein and she lays the child by the flagstone. She put her child on water. She doesn't know the direction of that child. But all she knows is if this kid is put on the water, because of what I know, it can be and will be. There is a, a divine mandate and fate accorded to this boy that will Swing this bus okay. to the destiny of the calling in that time. I don't know who I'm talking to. Don't you know that the water represents the spirit? Have you got a example? And so it goes on the water. And Miriam follows. Miriam And you look at how God is. 
the basket land at the time when Pharaoh's daughter has come to be. It could have landed after and found a random Egyptian or a wicked soldier. It would have come and found an Egyptian maiden. It would have come and found a simple Egyptian girl from a normal family. But when this thing lands, it lands where the guy who is called is supposed to be. I'm going somewhere. The scriptures tell us that at that particular point, Miriam goes to the daughter of Pharaoh. The Bible says the moment she gets this kid out of the basket, she knew that this was a Hebrew child. I don't know how they look like, but there was something that <laughs> described the Hebrew child. And then Miriam comes and says, can I bring a nurse to nurse this child? And it's in the heart of the woman who met that she has to say yes. And the mother of Moses comes. This time she's paid to look after her own child. Praise the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. And the Bible says the daughter of Pharaoh calls him Moses. Musa. Moshe is the word. The Hebrew word. Moses. Musa. Now Moses, the Bible says, because I drew him out of water. But if you look at the literal Hebrew, the Hebrew meaning of Moses, not the Egyptian. The Egyptian, the Egyptian, the Egyptian says, I drew him out of water. The Hebrew word for Moses, Moshe, is he that draweth out of water. The moon take it Did you get me? I called him Moses because I drew him out of water. When you say Moses, he that draws out of the water. Are you getting one of them to communicate? Now we connect that the man's destiny is also attached to his name. <laughs> to draw out of water. Not he was drawn out of water. But the Hebrew is to draw out of water. And then years later, he's the same man standing before the sea with a rod in his hand, splashes this water and draws the children of God through the water and draws them out of the Red Sea into the wilderness. It was purpose. The Egyptians are failed to do it. To get into the same water. And they drowned. And the one which was drowned. Now in the one which was drowned. Now indeed. Draws men out. My purpose. Are you hearing me? Where did it begin from? Okay. Let's skip that. Three quarters of Moses' ministry was preparation. Are you hearing me? Pharaoh released the children of Israel. For hundreds of years they were in bondage. You know the story. Moses leads them out. A great deliverance. He gives them the law. He introduces God. And Moses plays his part. And he is one of the greatest prophets in the old, if not the greatest prophet in the old time. But many of us don't ask, what if that day, Joshebed didn't see that thing in Moses? 
and she handed him over and feared the king and they killed Moses. The history of Israel, like we know it, would have needed another change for God to redeem the children of Israel. That's why we tell women not to abort. Because every child comes with a destiny. Mm. And it's a heavy price to heaven. When you kill a destiny. Don't look at that child as a fetus. Look at that child as a destiny. If you did it, God forgave you. Don't do it again. You understand? Now listen to my point. The history, like we know of Moses, required a woman who could see. Praise the Lord Jesus. It required a woman who could see. The next president right now of the country, the mother knows. The father might not, might not but the mother knows. My mother told me when she was pregnant. She God told her. He called him great. He knew I had a covenant with God. And there are things he told me when I was there. in the presence of my siblings. Which things he didn't say in the presence of my sisters and brothers. There are things she told me which she has not said before my siblings. Long ago. And she told me, you, you belong to God. I know you. You understand what I'm saying? All these facts we see on the street. You women, you are the, you've caused those problems. You see it in your son. You see it in your son. Your son is not the same. Your son is not the same. Your son is not the same. Are you getting me? Right now, you can wire the next prime minister. Right now, right now, you can change the course of a nation as a woman. Right now, mukama ineti nisi yakute koko tisola ne chusa magenda gavana tukokat. Which can even change destiny. Mukama eva. Kwa watu muzara mubiri, muzara mumoyo. Naye zara. Produce them in the place, in the spirit of Did you get a Did you get a Produce something. Because we enter there by faith. The parents. You understand? So we are not to take it out. We 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 take it Egypt. <laughs> from Egypt and going to work but you have to see it you sat in that small show and you only had six steps six stones and you put and you put and you put a, a, a curry powder and you put oil and you put oil and you put oil Amajirita. And you put leather bread. Once you not take out, you put uh, some guinness down here. Minzan, you know you take out. The the. Not and don't pull out And you sit in that. Waso kano kate kamu sent. First put money. Me kajula. And it fill. Maybe it's one of the. But problem came. Maybe singa kaduka. And they sent it to prepare again the session. Amani. 
the strength of that is not the strength of that is not the capital you put it is that thing how do you look at that shot you know what I'm saying so there's a woman she was in Chisasi she had that small shop and I am approached her and I saw her sitting there and she told me that she was in Chisasi where was the duka yang? Yakatuma something supermarket. She named it something supermarket. Ne musumba nga kaduka kava wana. Mpaka wana. Ne nga kaduka katini bwekati. Ne nga yakatuma supermarket. She had called it a supermarket. Tebanze gede. Akaduka kalichi. Bwekati. Na ye ye bwe yakalaba. Yalaba nga supermarket evomo. Oh, pe yalaba nga kalete mere yokuru okuna. No. Yalaba nga supermarket evomo. Na akatuma supermarket. When I saw supermarket, na ba mu motoka ya. I left my car. Ne nyingira akaduka. I got into the shop. Na yo gere bigambe likatongo yo mramo. Jesus na damo ku hita wechi. I passed by Jesus there. Akaduka kagazi. Thing is bigger. Akaduka kagazi. Thing is bigger. Yamenya. She broke. Havo kuna iba una una apangi sao. Neva menya munda weva. Katika yonge deyo. Weva le kujaku supermarket imosumba. Yeku vaka yaraba supermarket. Nebo tola mukorola chivina. Nenga gulaba Lamborghini. You see a Lamborghini. Na yoyi no kuba kuchola ba. Kuvanga we sigalanga korole jaku fa. We kasi galanga kaduka kaja kufa. Kama kuli la neva kuchola ba. See something. That's all you need. To make it a chibaya. <laughs> That's where it can flow. Make it. Yes. It will fall on you. No you can take it where it's supposed to go. No do what it's supposed it to go. It will fall on you. It will fall on you. But put it on the spirit. To take a kumu, put it on the spirit. put it on the water. To take a kumu, I'm a sadja mugamba. Men, put it on your neck when you're being jiri. I'm trying to tell you something. Big ministries are not built by buildings. They begin when you're under a tree. And you start constructing a cathedral. They think we first put on. Now we be not a water and be kira one. Singa ba tulage bi fana ni yoka tose wali oyambala. Men sa oje wali o kwata. Men la la yo la la yo la la yo la la yo. La la yo la la yo la la yo la la yo la la yo. No chitaka kumo ene chigena na chise ya unse ya ya. Soma ni chigena. Men no sango mutupu. Mukama na kola. Na wakati sio mubi, na wakulala sio mubi na wakuti yao, wanyonge choge na kuita, wanyonge na kuisha. No sasura na kuchikuma, na kuchikuma, keep it. Walikombo subi na awe. Wabo kanga mufufu wote. Nyesu tukawe timu bang. Nenda kwa chola ba mufufu la matayo. Watu ni ase kambi. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come and they think you're done. And they think you're done. And they think you're done. This is just a beginning. Ah! Ah! Mwa bale se simu. Behold I do a new thing. So it shall spring forth. So it shall not tarry. He says I will make a way in the wilderness. And bring us in the desert. Oh! Now the problem with our people here is they think God will first make a way <laughs> and then they see it. They think you'll first have to create a river and then they see them. No. 
We see rivers before they are created. We start building around rivers like they are coming. That is what they call faith. By faith. By faith. The parents of Moses. By faith. The parents of Moses. By faith. Now we understand in Hebrew. They are full of visitation. They are full of vision in Malaysia. No. The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. What oh. Now we understand in Hebrew that by faith that the parents of Moses saw a good leech. By faith. By faith. By faith. By faith. You think an angel has to be in the cathedral. Paul, I know, could jump in when. Yes, so now could tell you all walk on up. walk on up. Civil is our civil is our water. Oh, guys, the morning you rescue someone over to the program. One of the Vivian Sikiris and then also Savala Kubikola. Katana Savala College. That is Savala Kubula. At the Tola Giranga, Bantu Muchachi. What took our good time? Tunule no one see what over Fumba and Coco about Chenya, Wood and Moses, Waita Mwabo, Tambra Muka Tunon, your Wabba Tunde and Gatan Kade. What kill our world to Yakusanga Gun, never about Tambra. No, you do carry Tunde Mifariso. Makatika do carry Tunde Mifariso. No, Mosadia Tunda would talk Mukade. Kill our world, what kill our world to Chachi, the Chachi fair. Na yakati tukamba abantu kwa botoke Kampala boza bubuza panele eliwa Kampala just just panero Hey Hey Kama taka na tuka Kampala internet kweli Facebook kweli anonya ndaba tayari taka kujiranta ate ate kiri la wote ah ah ovamu mufingo yingi la ata na wontani kwa and that's just the beginning can I prophesy on your life where you think glory is is but a beginning of greater things to come in your life I declare and I declare in the name of Jesus that where men think you have ended they are about to realize that it's just the beginning it's just the beginning you might think that the story could have ended on the survival of Moses. But it did not end on the survival of Moses. It did not even end on his leaving of the house of Potiphar. It didn't even end on the crossing of the children of Israel. It did not even end on his death. Up to today, we are talking about Moses. I never Sit your crocker walk. Particularly, the gamba mean. Nako, every fan of Mulembe. I got tired of things that don't have a question to tackle the Yoga. Namu Mulimbe, and Betia Kuba Fresh. And Tiria, and what did you take a common Kuba Tiria? I mean, Yakuba Tari Kalivanga Yaka. They went to put the value of the city. But it is a power, Yama Nika Konda. Somebody say, man. I'm going to build something. Every time I preach, I am. When I go back, if I see there is something that has come. I'm going to change the course of my ministry. Even now, as we are praying, I'm going to change the course. I'm going to change another course. You need to change another course. Something I'm going to ask. Somebody will ask me. If God didn't, if God didn't, if God didn't, 
designing a certain God designed a certain course for you. How would you go back home and change you? I will answer them and say, if he knew that he had designed a certain course, he wouldn't have given me today someone. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. I'm changing my course. Tell your neighbor I'm changing my course. Because of the message tonight, I'm changing my course. I'm changing my course. I'm changing my course. Power of the Holy Ghost. I'm changing my course. I'm changing my course. I am changing my course. Get to your feet, somebody. I'm changing my course. I am changing my course. I am changing my course. You sent his word. You sent his word. You sent his word. You sent his word. And it will be there to take us from one level to another. God is changing your course. 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 Somebody raise your voice. I want you to speak in tongues. I, I want to give you six minutes of non-stop travail. Six minutes of non-stop travail. I want you to speak in tongues like your entire life depends on it. Rata banda raba kara raba tondo robo kori bara raba ba. Rata pakala raba banda raba kora raba ba ya. Roto robo no robo kori bara raba si de lele ba ya. Misha raba kala raba banda raba kala ba ya. Raba koro bo tondo riba raba si de lele ba ya. Change your course. Juzo mutene la gomla mubo. Change your course. Juzo mutene la gomla mubo. Raba kala raba banda raba kala ba ya. Rata la bazondo robo kori bala la bakaye. Rata baka sidele manda rabazori baya. Rata le bara bazondo riere riere bosara. Rata pata la 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 bazondo ri bala baye. Rata la 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 bazondo ri kosi le baya. Manda baka tara bakora basi le ba. Lanza la baka la la bazonda la baye. Rato to robo kori bara baya. Lord Zipa. Enda busiwa. It must happen. Put your dream on the spirit. Throw your basket on the water. Speak in other tongues. It will save nations. It will save nations. Lord, deeper. Forget what you're going through. It must. Tonight, we keep you the glory we give you glory. We 
The message you have just heard was brought to you by Fenero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number 041-466-4291 or email us at fenerocompala at gmail.com. You can also find us on the web at www.fenero.org. Or better still, feel free to join us every Thursday for our weekly fellowships at UMA Multipurpose Hall from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash Fenero. Fenero. Make manifest.